welcome to my channel. Today it is all about our dining room. Now I chose this room because it's probably the most unused, neglected room in our home. I think we have enjoyed a meal in our dining room two times since we moved into this house eight years ago. Can any of you relate to that scenario? And isn't it funny how so many people who are building houses now aren't even including a formal dining room in their floor plan? They're using that square footage for more functional spaces for their families. I think if we were to build a home, I would do that as well. So, but anyway, today I'm going to pay attention to our dining room, give it a little bit of a spring look, perhaps do an Easter tablescape, and I might even get out my paintbrush, although I'll spare you having to watch me paint. But anyway, I just enjoy your company and I'm glad that you're here today. So let's get started. So I went ahead and cleaned everything out just to give you some perspective of what this room looks like. We've made a few changes in here over the years. I painted the windows black. I also added the picture frame molding below the chair rail. And then last summer added these really pretty wallpaper murals. They're actually peel and stick. And the creator was able to print a mirror image on that side. So it looks like the trees are facing each other. It just works better for my symmetrical self. But uh, the artwork that I had been looking at for a large piece like that was so expensive. So wallpaper mural it was. Then to make it look like art, I used inexpensive trim to frame them. And then over on this side, I added this print. I purchased it from Hobby Lobby years ago to tie in with the wallpaper murals. We also added this beautiful chandelier last year as well. I had been looking for one for years, but they are so expensive. Came across this one online, could not believe the price. So reasonable. I will link it in the video description in case you have been looking for one too. Now there's something in this view that I have wanted to change. So let me go ahead and do that really quickly. All right, that's a little bit better. I really like how it ties in with the wallpaper murals and adds a pop of color against its white backdrop. And because I have to have my balance, I'm not quite done with my paintbrush. Okay, now I'm done. I really like the contrast between the buffet and the white wall and how it ties in with the other side of the room. There I go again with my symmetry. 
but I trick myself by doing the diagonal method. So I have my pitchers diagonally across from each other along with the pedestals and bowls. I love the lattice trim on those. And I found these cute bunny plates. I really like how they have the grass. I feel like they tie in with the landscape that is going on with the wallpaper murals. And then on the sideboard, I added this oversized urn. Yes, those are winter branches, but I springified them by mixing in cherry blossom stems and then hanging the little egg ornaments. And then over on this side, added more pitchers and bowls. Yes, those are my go-tos. And then I really like hanging dish towels from the pegs that have the colors of the room. And I found those cute little pitchers as well. And then I added cake stands, wreaths, and hurricanes, and tucked in a few eggs. Then I found these adorable bunnies, I believe at Target Dollar Spot. I brought in my hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil bunnies to take center stage on the table. Although I raised the center one up just to give it more presence, added a little bit of garland, eggs, and candles. And for the table settings, just layered white and pink and added the greenery napkin rings. Now, if I don't have enough napkins, I'll do two of the same at the head and foot of the table and then the, the same napkins across from each other. Lastly, I brought in these slip-covered Parsons chairs along with the crossback wood chairs. I really like how those add a bit of contrast. I will be sharing my full home spring tour. There are a couple of rooms that I have not shared yet that I have decorated for spring. So there will be some new material, I guess. Uh, so if you like full home tours, I hope you'll join me then. As always, I really appreciate your company. And before you go, I do hope that you will consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks so much and have a great week. Bye.